There is absolutely nothing in Einstein's theories of relativity that rules out time travel, since the whole idea of going back in time defies one of physics' most fundamental tenets, that of causality. Because time travel violates the principles of cause and effect, it is inevitable that it will result in a number of contradictions. We are gonna take a look at five most bizarre time paradoxes that have kept scientists and fans of time travel movies up at night for a considerable amount of time over the years. Number one, predestination paradox. A predestination paradox occurs when a person who travels back in time alters the past and may wind up causing the very thing that they are trying to prevent from happening in the first place. The end result is a phenomenon known as a temporal causality loop, in which an occurrence that took place in the past has an effect on an occurrence that will take place in the future, which in turn causes the initial occurrence to take place. This self-referential chain of occurrences precludes the time traveler from altering the past and ensures that any attempt to do so would only bring about the same result. The traveler will end up back where they started with the original dilemma. The existence of predestination paradoxes suggests that all events have already been decided and cannot be altered. Do you think that's too much? Let's say your lover died in a hit and run accident and you decide to go back in time to prevent this tragedy from happening, only to discover that you caused the accident by running her over. The predestination dilemma has thus been created as a result of your efforts to alter the past. Attempting to change the past will simply result in you playing out your part in creating a historical event rather than changing it. Therefore, one method to deal with this paradox is to suppose that the events which you have experienced are already formed into a self-consistent version of the reality. Number two, port strap paradox. When a person, an object, or a piece of knowledge is sent back in time, it creates a paradox known as the bootstrap paradox, in which the object or person in question has no beginning and continues to exist forever. It is also called an ontological paradox, since ontology is the philosophical study of what it means to be or to exist. Let's consider an example of information. If George Lucas were to go back in time and hand himself the scripts of the Star Wars movies, he would later direct and become famous for. This would result in a bootstrap paradox in which the data involved has no definitive point of genesis. An example of a human-involved bootstrap paradox would be a 20-year-old man who travels back in time for 21 years, meets a lady, and has an affair with her before returning home three months later, all without realizing that she is pregnant. Her offspring becomes the 20-year-old time traveler who goes back in time and meets a woman 21 years earlier. Due to the implication of these ontological dilemmas, the distinction between the future, the present, and the past breaks down, leaving scientists with the obvious issue of determining the origin of anything, a term that is normally used to refer to the past but is now rendered irrelevant. There is still the matter of who or what created the object or data and how. Still, closed time loops are theoretically achievable according to Einstein's field equations. Kip Thorne was the first physicist to acknowledge that wormholes and time travel in the opposite direction are possible. Number 3. Grandfather Paradox The Grandfather Paradox is about the self-inconsistent answers to a timeline's history that time travel can create. A paradox might occur, for instance, if you went back in time and murdered your grandfather, therefore you wouldn't have been born and hence would not have gone back in time. Let's imagine you have decided to murder your grandfather just because he established a dynasty that destroyed the globe. You believe that if you kill him before he meets your grandma, your entire family line, including yourself, will be wiped out and the world would be a better place. This is how theoretical physicists say things could go, at least in theory. But here is the problem. You travel back in time, approach him, and then point a gun at his head. You pull the trigger, and the task has been completed. 
You've killed your grandfather and returned to the present, although in reality you've actually never been here. You see, when you killed your grandfather before he even gave birth to his children, who would eventually become your father, you have erased your entire existence. Then that means neither your father was born, nor did he get married, and definitely never gave birth to you. That means you were never born at all. So if you never existed, then who exactly did the time travel and killed your grandfather in the first place? Isn't that a question of your existence? Your whole identity, including all of your relationships, belongings, finances and background, has been wiped clean. So when you come back, you've stepped into a timeline where you've never been before. Scientists say it's possible that you might have created a new timeline or have actually gone to a parallel universe. Number 4. Paradox of Killing Hitler The Killing Hitler paradox is analogous to the grandfather paradox in that it removes the motivation for attempting to assassinate Hitler in the first place. On top of that, although killing grandpa would have a small butterfly impact, but executing Hitler could have far-reaching ramifications for everyone in the globe, if only because you studied him during your school. The paradox is founded on the assumption that if time travel were possible, there would be no requirement for it. If you assassinated Hitler, none of his acts would lead you to desire to make the effort in the future. And finally at number 5 we have Polchinski's Paradox. Joseph Polchinski, a theoretical physicist, presented a time paradox that occurs when a billiard ball travels via a wormhole and upon exiting, collides with its younger self, preventing the latter from entering the wormhole. Physicists take Polchinski's paradox seriously because nothing in Einstein's general relativity rules out time travel, closed time-like curves, or tunnels across spacetime. In addition, it offers a more fruitful way for scientists to investigate a conundrum because it is grounded in the laws of motion rather than the indeterministic idea of free will. Joseph Polchinski originally presented the dilemma in light of Novikov's self-consistency principle, which simply states that time travel is permissible, but temporal paradoxes are not. However, several workarounds have been proposed to circumvent the inconsistencies proposed by Polchinski, the most prominent of which includes the billiard ball striking its younger counterpart, altering its path somewhat, but not enough to prevent it from reaching the wormhole. This approach is associated with the timeline protection theory, which postulates that a probabilistic distortion would take place to avoid a paradox. This also explains why it's impossible to kill your grandfather in the past through time travel, ensuring that history will always unfold the same way. But can a time slip actually occur? The term butterfly effect was coined in relation to the idea that seemingly insignificant events can have far-reaching consequences over time periods. This means that paradoxes will always arise whenever time travel is attempted, and that even little modifications have the potential to drastically affect the course of events. What about the prophecies? Do self-fulfilling prophecies represent a paradox? While it may seem paradoxical at first glance, a self-fulfilling prophecy is actually just an instance of cause and effect unless the prophecy is actually known to come true and future events have caused effects in the past. Let's say, for example, that a person in charge says something is inevitable, right and true, and everyone agrees with them because of how convincing they are. People who are completely convinced by their concept start to act as if the prediction is already true, which makes it come true because of what they do. To help you understand better, let's take a look at another proven example. It is predicted that high-speed magnetic levitation trains would take the lead as the most effective mode of transportation beginning in the 21st century. With fuel supplies dwindling, jet travel will be limited to transoceanic routes only. Domestic flights will be discontinued. Now is the time for people to begin making plans to construct electric high-speed train networks. As a result of people acting as if the forecast were true, the requisite infrastructure is put in place to ensure a steady supply of the necessary components. It also functions on the micro level 
at the level of an individual. All those self-help books out there adhere to the central tenet that changing one's mindset to that of a successful person will lead to one's actual actions more closely matching those of a successful person. It's a positive reinforcement or feedback loop, and acting as though you're already successful causes others to treat you as though you are. But even with all the paradoxes considered, will we be able to ever perform time travel one day? Will mankind actually make this impossible concept possible in the near future? Will we be able to get past these anomalies and create a new alternate reality where time is actually under our control? Will we actually be leaping through multiple timelines and find ourselves in multiple parallel universe? Let me know down in the comments what thoughts are going inside your mind after watching the video. Also, if you enjoyed watching this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to be the first to watch our newly uploaded video. Thanks for watching guys, do check out these videos to get your mind blown.